Hello lovely people, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below, give me a thumbs up, and share this video. Please also comment below. Uh, today I am going to be doing another wig review. Hopefully we did well today. So I've gone ahead and I've washed my hair. I've got cornrows. So let's see which wig we have here today. So we have the Stylus Invisible Lace HD 13x6 Pre-Plucked pre 100% Human Hair Master Blend with Transparent Brown HD Lace. So the Stylus is a new wig that I've been hearing about uh, and this one allows you to choose between two different colors on the lace. Just the regular lace that we're used to or the brown HD lace. I've got the brown HD lace and let's see here. I was trying to see if it said it was, it doesn't say if it's, if it's heat tolerant, but I did see a video where someone did it and they used the, uh, the hot straightening comb, not the one that you put on the stove, but the electric straightening, uh, comb, not the iron, the comb on it. So I don't see, and usually they have it on the bag, but at any rate, today's beauty is called Cherie. And she's in Balage, B-A-L-A-Y-A-G-E, chocolate. So there she is right there. Let's see if we can get her. And I will also put a picture over here and the link down below. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and... Uh, First, before I open her, I want to tell you what supplies I am probably going to be using today. And I say probably, I may not use all of these things here, basically, um, because I might even like the wig. So I'm not going to install it. I'm going to put it on and make it look nice. I may not install it because I may not like it. We'll see. Um, so we're going to use a, the small brush here, you know, to brush out. I don't like the baby hairs, but I do like to make the hairline look natural. We are going to be using scissors to cut the lace. Uh, I may be using, depending on once I pluck it, the hairline, I'm gonna be plucking a little bit, uh, using a brush and some uh, foundation to kind of make the part look a little more real. I'm going to be wearing this weaving cap. And the reason why I'm wearing the weaving cap as opposed to the stocking cap is, it is hot, you guys. I'm in North Texas. It is hot as I don't know what. And I sweat a lot. So that, if you notice here, it has holes in it to let my, my hair and my scalp breathe. And um, so when I also, if I want to pin it back with bobby pins or whatever, you can stick them in there. Um, so I wear that. You guys, I cannot find my silk scarf. So if I have to lay down my edges, I'm going to just be, look, trying to use this thing right here. Uh, of course, this here is to try to pick up some of the hairs because I'm going to be trimming the edges. Of course, I got scissors. And, um, of course, my two favorites got to be gel, uh, got to be ultra glued styling gel and the hairspray. Uh, I don't know if I'll use both of them, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends. And the last thing I'm going to probably use, I'm not sure yet, is going to be the Motions Foam Styling um, Mousse, and I'll link everything below. And then also I have my trusty uh, Hot Tools Signature Curling Iron uh, on standby in case, you know, sometimes when you have the wig at the part and it poofs up, you can kind of just, you know, flatten it a little bit. So I think with that being said, let's go ahead and open the wig. So I'm hoping you guys can see this. So there is the wig. Again, it is Cherie by Stylus. 
the stylus and it's in color balage balage balayage chocolate mm. fancy to me y'all so of course it comes in the plastic it comes in the box here and it has a little tag and i uh i scan these tags and how many times have you bought a wig or something and you wanted something similar or the same thing only to go back and re realize you forgot what it was, what color it was, what brand. So what I do is I take these and I scan them into my computer So when I, and I have a file for just hair. So when I go back and I want to, uh, you know, maybe wear the same thing, I, I know where to find it to, to order it again. And this particular one comes in, the colors are OET1B slash burgundy, the Belege Caramel, is that the one I have? No, I have chocolate. Uh, MOR1B Blonde, OET1B Forest Green, mm. um, and OET1B Purple. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to go, you know, brown, blondish highlights. Uh, I'm not trying to do red, purple, green, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's attached by a little plastic thing here. I don't know if that you guys can see that, but it's a thing that they uh attach the uh tag to close, a little plastic thing. You can just pull it right out. It won't harm the hair. And uh so here we have the hair and the unit looks a little short. I do want to go short but I didn't want to go too short. We'll see how it looks. So far it looks nice. Um it's in a hairnet. So we're gonna go ahead and take the hairnet off. And sometimes I will keep the hairnet and the bag for storage. So when I'm not wearing it, I can put it back. Uh, and it has this little white thing here inside. And it's attached by these little pins. If you guys can see that there, I'm sorry. Let's take the pins off, take the paper out. So, this is supposed to be HD lace. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not Swiss lace like, meaning Swiss lace is kind of. So many uh, wigs have, especially uh, synthetic wigs, and I do mostly synthetic wigs, you guys know that. Uh, but they have this hard lace that, you know, I have to put like Vaseline or something on it to kind of soften it up a little bit. But it's kind of soft, it's just not Swiss lace. But I love how it looks i'm trying to see if i can get you guys to see the lace here so this hd lace is like supposed to melt into your skin and you know make it look like it's your scalp uh so this is the front of the wig there's the part and because it has a um 13 by 6 pre pluck uh so let me show you the inside so you can see what i'm talking about I can park this either on the front in the front or on either side that I want to so I can wear different styles. Y'all know I'm a side lady. I like that flip, that sexy flip, but sometimes I like a middle. So sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. So um, yeah, there's nothing special to it as far as that there's, you know, the uh, there's no curls. It's got body. These curls right here will probably get changed depending on what it looks like when I put on. But you see the little pieces of uh, chocolate or caramel or whatever you, or that band de glaze, whatever color it is, all through it. It's not a black wig, it's chocolate. I like that for the, um, I probably would like it to have more streaks of, um, of the, the blonde, the, the whatever color this is here uh, throughout it. But... That's an easy fix. I don't have any on me today. I just ran out, um, but I'll order some from um, Amazon. Jerome Russell has this temporary hairspray. So it's called Temporary Hair Color. It's Jerome Russell. I think this is Jerome. Yeah, Jerome Russell. This one's in black. The one that I normally use. Let's see if you guys can see that here. There we go. I use it in, uh, in bronze and it gives me this bronzy uh blonde highlight to my hair so um i will order some of that but let's go ahead and 
get this wig installed and I'm not going to show you guys everything because you guys know I'm a little modest but I'm going to go ahead and take the cut the tag off so going back to the inside of the um, wig the construction so let's go on the inside now it does have three combs you got one at the back here you got one on each side and then you have the the uh, band let's take that out here the a band that you can adjust on the inside there so um, normally I would cut out the side sometimes they come with the front comb and the side I usually cut those out because they kind of pull my hair sometimes and it can be rather painful um, because on the sides my hair is very thin and so but I'm not going to I'm cutting the uh, tag out because I don't like that showing um, I'm going to leave the combs in only because the lace goes back so far you want to have some kind of protection I'll, I'll have some got to be uh, on here but you know for the days where I just want to just throw it on you know I want the combs holding on to something you know so um, let's go ahead and put this on so I'm going to go ahead and put on the weaving cap I just want to show you guys what it looks like I'm sure you already know the only thing I don't like about this weaving cap is it's long it's not like the actual stocking caps that just kind of fit the roundness of your head. This is long. So what I normally do is I'm going to cut it. Hopefully I don't cut it too far. Just again, uh, that part won't be, won't have any bobby pins or anything like that. Um, and I just don't want to put it raw on my head like that because it'll dry up my, my hair it'll you know then it start itching my scalp so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on i'll be right back okay so i got it over my cornrows and it's black normally i will wear the lighter color but uh i'm just going to basically uh put some uh foundation or something on it so that you know the same color so let's go ahead and i'm going to adjust the straps here I like mine snug. You don't want that wind blowing and it falling off. That has actually happened to me before. Luckily, my hair underneath, I had just permed it. And, um, I mean, it was still embarrassing that my wig came off, but my hair wasn't nappy or nothing like that. So that can be very embarrassing. So anyway, um... Sometimes I cut this back comb off too because it pulls my, my nape of my neck. But I'm going to leave them on for now and see how it feels. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Okay. So, so far it's not bad. It's short, but... It's off my neck, y'all, and it's still got fullness in the front. You know, I was telling you guys about that um, poof right there. Look, I haven't even played with it yet, and I like it. It feels lightweight, but I can tell already I'm going to have to adjust these sides because, and that's where the got to be is going to come in because the lace or maybe I just don't have it up far enough see that blonde there under that chocolate so let me try to get you guys in a better position to where you can see me um, I'm not in the best position I'm in my bathroom so yeah I'll work with a sister let's see This would be really good if I had um, 
the stock the regular stocking cap see now i wish those uh stocking these stocking caps these are weaving caps where'd they go the weaving cap i wish it came in a lighter color i've not yet found any so um if anyone knows where i can find them please let me know um i'm liking this you guys i'm liking i'm loving it i am loving this oh my goodness oh my, oh my goodness oh my goodness i don't like the way the part is but that can be yeah see that 13 inches of wideness of um parting area but see this is let me see Yeah. Y'all. I think I'm going to take the cap off and just try to line the part up with, with one of the middle of my cornrows so it could show my actual scalp. Because I can work with it. It's just. It's dark, it's real dark, and it will take a lot of working to do with it, so. Hmm. Yeah, let me, let me take off uh, this cap and, and use my, uh, my own scalp for right now. We'll see if it starts itching and whatever, I'll just throw up another stocking cap back on, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That looks a lot better. Something's not feeling comfortable here. It's probably these darn combs. But let's see. Let's go ahead and cut the, the uh, lace and see. Let's go ahead and... Um... I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. I don't like to cut the lace with it on my head only because several times I have cut my sideburns. Look, I, I'm good, but I ain't that good. So I'll be right back. So I will say this wig is big head friendly, meaning it's for a much larger head. I have a small medium head and as you can see right here this is sticking out and I might have to cut it which I hate because I like the the highlights it's like why do I have to cut it so um I'm gonna have to cut some of it because I could work it around my edges here but that's gonna be a big lump there I'm gonna have to at least cut a little bit of it so I try to cut as least the least amount as possible because it has to look natural down there. You don't want it bulking behind your ears. And then especially if you wear glasses, that's that hurts. I should have grabbed me some clips, but I didn't, so we will work this out. So what I'm going to do is hate to but there it goes the blonde I don't know why they just put it right there I'm praying I didn't cut my my edges y'all so I didn't do a very good job at cutting the lace but we'll get there we'll work it on out y'all now, I gotta tell you, my hair is in cornrows, but this stuff is nappy. I washed it. I did not, um... Mm. I washed it, and I did not, um, blow dry it or anything. So, it's nappy. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this side here. Ugh, I hate that. Look, I'm sure the way I could put, I probably could, I could probably glue it back in. We ain't going through all that, y'all. Okay, so that's going to have to work right there. So, how do I make this wig look as natural as possible? 
Okay, I think I kind of like where the line is, or let's see if we can do another one. I want it to match up with my cornrows. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do too much plucking with this one right now. Just wanna make sure too that my part, y'all can't see. Got glasses on and I can't see. So I can't see if that part in the back. Y'all, I hate that the, the blonde got cut. And it's in the back. Why? Why? Y'all had a miss on this. Y'all should have put a few streaks in the front. So I'm shedding right now, but I'm sure it's because I um, cut it, but we'll see how that works. But yeah, y'all missed the mark on that blonde, on the uh, the color. Cause the only part was the part that was up front and I've cut that. That's not cool. You almost have to do your hair up like that in order to see the blonde. Okay, so I'm liking this wig, but that's a miss. So it's gone down to a four so far. <laughs> Actually, it's gone down to a three and a half because I bought it too with the purpose of that color. Okay, let's try to get this. I'm going to put some mousse on it real quick to get it to sit down because they don't want to. And I'm sorry the glare on my glasses, y'all. I just did not feel like putting my contacts in this morning. So, and you're seeing the lights from my lighted mirror. Looks a hold on a little bit. Bless you. cut what they call the baby hairs. Not the It's pulling my braid in the back and that kind of hurts. I try to do my cornrows really thin only because you do them too thick it's gonna puff up 
I think I still may have done them too thick though. But hey, it's going to work. Look, <laughs> it's going to work. I'm not going to even try to go up in here yet. Glasses on because I cannot see the thing. Okay. okay see so what I don't like is the lace at once it dries up from the got to be glue, got to be, it starts to um we got to fix this right now. So I'm going to take some, I think my Fenty will be a little bit too light. the final product so lovelies this is the finished product of my hair um what do you guys think comment below let me know what you guys think should i let it be my summer hair i am going to definitely spray some um of the jerome russell bronze highlights in it because i just like i said it just did it such a disservice about putting that blonde where it did me having to cut it off but i'm liking it i'm really liking it y'all so i'm going to go and review this wig and i'm going to give it a three and a half uh because of those two reasons the unbleached knots and the location of the highlights so besides that I love the wig and I think this might be my summer look. We'll see. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and comment below again. Tell me what you thought about this wig. Tell me what you thought about my process of actually making this wig work for me so uh i will link everything that i showed in here that i can in the description box below and i appreciate you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video hey.